Hey guys, it's uh, Knights Templar back here. Welcome to Operation Hindenburg. Uh, this is uh, turn nine, no, 20.7 uh, uh, and 20.8 for Italy and Japan. Um, yeah, I mean, without further ado, let's, um, yeah, let's get into it. So, uh, what we want to do for Italy first is do... Um, Tech. So we're going to do wartime economy. We're at stage two. We need a seven or higher. That's a four. Missed. Okay. All right. So for our buys, we are buying uh, three infantry and saving one. All right. So for combat for Italy, um, we are not attacking Bob in... Um, and uh, what is it, Austria? We're gonna actually declare war on Switzerland. So we are actually gonna bring everything here except uh, three infantry. We're gonna keep three infantry back. So from my calculation, that's six plus What is that? 12. I can count. Yeah, 12. 15 infantry, 12 artillery, a basiglieri, and a mountain. So, got a lot of first strikes. And then the other combat is just an attrition attack there in Palestine. And then that's it. So, um, well, let's just go ahead and do combat. I have a bunch of dice here. Okay. So we've got, I'm just going to roll six first strikes with, uh, with the Italians, and then I will uh, roll the next uh, round of six. So we are attacking in a mountain, so it is <clears throat> three or less. So we have six at three. So we just need three first strike hits, and we will just take the territory without any... It, uh, take casualties. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, here's the first six. Wow, that's a lot of 11s and 12s. All right, let's do the next uh, six. Uh, looks like I got one hit total. So, okay, whatever. All right, so let's go ahead and roll. Let's roll our mountain at a three, boosted by the. Um, actually, just boost the basiglieri and the mountain. So here we go. Well, they got a hit. Okay, so that's. I just need one more hit, and then we got twelve so out of fifteen. So we got ten at two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten at two. Mm, there's that last hit. There's two hits there. So, all right. So they'll have two at five. All right. So two at five. And they both missed. So, okay. So we take the good old Swiss cheese. Okay, so, yep, everything, like I said, everything's, oh, I don't even need to put that. I'm just gonna keep that on the card here. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. All right, let me get a round roll real quick. Aha, I probably didn't expect that. So, uh, Italy goes to 10. All right. All right, let's do that other attack there, that little attrition attack. Nothing too big. So we need a one. 
<laughs> it's a 10. Okay. So let's do some non combat. So we're just going to move this militia up to northern Italy, rail the militia from Mezzogiorno to northern Italy. Um, these are just going to swap. Um, that cruiser is going to stay there. I'm not going to move that. And I think that's it. So let's, um, let's place our units. So we're going to place those in northern Italy. So that gives us six infantry and two uh, militia there. And then in Switzerland, we've got 15 infantry, 12 artillery, a mountain, an elite, and um, gas. I'm going to bring the gas too. So, because I did not, I'm not using gas against Switzerland. I'm just not going to do it. Because I didn't purchase gas this turn. So, no reason to use it. Okay. All right, so I think that is it. Um, I don't have any wartime economy rolls, so yeah, let's just go to Japan. So, uh, well, with our collect income, so we'll actually be at 11. So $11 for the Italians next turn. Okay, uh, so for um, Japan, we've... Uh, We've got what? Well, let's just do tech first. So let's do defense and depth. We're at stage two. That an 11, cool. So that goes to stage three. We might finish defense and depth before the game's over. All right. So we had 10, 15, yeah, 18, 19. So we're going to buy another minor factory for Bulgaria, um, two artillery, and one infantry, and we're going to save a dude, save a buck. I don't know why I said dude, save a buck. <laughs> okay, I think that um, is our buy this turn. We're just keep piling on factories, so might as well. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and do combat. Um, let's see, um, I'm not going to attack Thrace, it makes literally no sense. So, however, we are going to do an attrition attack in there. We're also going to do an attrition attack into Palestine. Actually, you know what? Let's see, let's do this. Um, this is worth. Is this connect by any season? No, it sure doesn't. Hmm. Nah, I don't think I should attack right now. Um, we'll do an attrition into Palestine. And then we'll do an attrition into Thrace. Just no reason to jump the gun. Because I just don't have a lot of units down there. So it literally makes no sense pip-wise to even do anything. Because, I mean, Dawson still has quite a bit of... You know, yeah. Ah, you know what? I'm still pondering here if I want to do this or not. Because if you, if you look, if we attack Arabia with this camel, we could hit that with the two naval infantry, the colonial, and the... Artillery, um, or we could just non combat two units from here, build that up uh, some more, but I don't know. I'm not convinced at this moment, so let's just stick with what we want to do. So let's just um, do that attrition and then the attrition into Thrace from Bulgaria, call it a day. So, all right, so let's roll our two. Uh, attrition from Bulgaria into Thrace. That's a seven and a six. And then let's go ahead and roll our attrition from um, 
what is this called? Yeah, Hijaz into Palestine. Well, we got a one, so Dawson, I'm sure you'll want to take out the colonial infantry there. I doubt you'll want to take out an infantry, so. <laughs> Uh, but all right, cool. So sounds good. That actually kind of helps. Um, so anyway, yeah, let's do a uh, non-combat. So we're going to take, actually, you know what? We're going to take the two pre-dreads and we're going to go up one and... As long as we have one transport back, I'm okay. These two subs are gonna move up one here, two, and seven. Okay. Um, one transport's just gonna go back up one, two, and join this fleet there. We're also going to bring the two cruisers, we're gonna go up, well, we're just gonna move them up one to M8. Okay. This transport's gonna pick up the infantry and the artillery and just go one, two, drop them off into Hejaz, so that gives us two infantry there. I like this much better. Instead of just jumping the gun with, I, I, uh, just not comfortable with that. So, there. We'll leave it like that. We'll have two transports there just in case. Okay. I like it. So, uh, anything else that I want to move from Bulgaria? That would be a no. So, let's do... Actually, let's just place our units, so. <clears throat> let's place our two artillery. Oh, I wish we could lend lease with the Japanese. That'd be so awesome. But that'd be a little broken, more than likely. So let's add that third factory. <laughs> this is the new Tokyo. And then we'll just add a, here. What is that, five infantry now? So yeah, five infantry, four artillery, two marines, or naval infantry, and three factories. All right. So, let's do a good, dis or a quick disposition. So like I said, yeah, in Bulgaria, I've got five infantry, four artillery, two naval infantry, in M7, I have four transports, uh, two torpedo boat destroyers, two subs, uh, coastal subs. In M8, I've got two pre-dreads and two cruisers. In I5, I've got two transports. In Hejaz, I've got two naval infantry, one infantry, one colonial, two artillery. And... Yeah, that's it. So let's just collect the income. So we collect uh, 12 plus our wartime. So let's go ahead and roll that. So the best we can do is obviously a six, which would give us up to, to well, would give us to 18 in that regard, which would be great. We can build another factory. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, six more bucks. So the Japanese are at eighteen dollars. Right, so we'll just have a look around. So we've got the Japanese there. Okay, 
got that. Yep. Look at all those units there for the Italians there going into Switzerland. They're like, no, we're neutral. All right. Well, that's pretty much it. So we'll kick it off to um, General Hand Grenade for the U.S. turn and China. We'll see you guys next time for the British turn unless the game ends. All right. Catch you later. Bye.